I don't think we've been using this role to its full capabilities. Today we're going to find out if we can. Good morning, afternoon, evening crew. I hope you are well. Now, I'm sorry there's been a little delay in videos recently. I haven't done one in three days, for God's sake. But I was a bit busy at the weekend competing in the FM Playoffs draft where we got to the semi-finals yet again and didn't get over the line. But I digress, I digress. Thank you as always for the support on the channel. We are growing steady, steady, slowly, slowly. Now today, we're going to look at the inverted wing back. Now, is this a Know Your Rolls video? Is this a tactics video? I'm not too sure, but I've been trying to build a tactic recently with inverted wing backs. And the results are interesting because of the way I'm kind of using them. Let's have a look. So first up, a little peek behind the curtain, if you will. So when I'm building a tactic or whatever, try to create one so I can give it to you guys to go and have a play with, I always... 9 out of 10 times use Inter Milan as my base team to build it from. They've just got a wide variety of players who are adaptable and you can do all sorts with them so I just like using them. And obviously to build a tactic for the first time to see if it's going to flow, it's good to use a bigger team. Now at this point I do want to add, now this tactic you can see by the title there, inverted wing back working, is a work in progress. It's no, by no means finished, I'm still tweaking away and trying to get things working but I want you to focus on what I've got both inverted wing backs doing. Both of them are on attack. A lot of the time, a lot of the time, I'll see people using them on support, just like that, nothing wrong with that, or even on defense. But very rarely do we see them on attack. And I wanted to exploit this and see what the role is actually capable of on attack, basically saying that they're going to be one of your prime, prime weapons going that way. Now listen, I am slowly building this tactic and it's obviously got legs as you can see there. They've won 19 out of 22 and they've only conceded 8. But there's areas of it I still want to tweak so I'm not going to release it yet. But you are getting a little sneak peek in this video. So I've got both my inverted wing backs on attack. I want them to be the central point of the team. Now if you look at the average ratings after 20 or so games you can see we're onto something. So here's the league's average rating in Serie A. Now if you look at it. Number one is Federico Di Marco, who is one of my inverted wingbacks. There he is. Second is a Roma player, but then third and fourth is Daniello Di Ambrosi. Ah, he's for me to say again. And Denzel Dumfries, both of which I've used as inverted wingbacks. A little further down, so we're looking at eighth. So still in the top ten is Matteo Damian. Again, another of the inverted wingbacks I've been using. So obviously, they're enjoying the role and they are flourishing. And the other thing I want to bring up is someone like a Daniello Di Ambrosi is nothing more than a backup player normally for Inter he's 33 he's a bit of a journeyman he's out of contract at the end of the season but using him in this role he's bagged a 7.47 average rating with two player of the matches he's obviously enjoying it so the role is helping him become a better player in fact if we take a look at him you can see his season so far so he's in the Champions League it hasn't been great but still pretty solid at a 6.98 but it's in Serie A where he's really flourished 14 games, 6 goals by the way from fullback, 3 assists with 7.47 average rating. You can see his attributes there. Some are decent but it's pretty middle of the road isn't it? For a top tier team, you probably wouldn't get near it with 12s in key positions and stuff like this. But if we knock it on to inverted wing back on attack, nothing stand out. He's lacking flair and long shots, his dribbling is just okay but the role is powering him up. Now there's loads of loads of in-match examples I've seen so far this season. In fact, in this game against Empoli, there's two in one match. And the positions I want you to focus on here are the positions of my two inverted wingbacks. Initially, when you see that setup, you'd probably think that Dumfries was playing as a wingback. But in this case, he was playing as a right midfielder. The right-sided inverted wingback is actually Ambrosi. And look where he is. He's basically playing as a striker. Now, where's the left inverted wingback, you say? There. That is wild. So Damian is there, Ambrose is there. That is my two inverted wingbacks. So Dumfries has got the ball. In this position, you'd think, right, he's going to aim for Edin Zeko, the striker, remember. But look, look what's next to him. Both of these boys, Damian's there. Dumfries has a look. Damian threw on goal and pings it in like a striker. Now, this movement from the inverted wingbacks on attack surprised me. I know wingbacks on attack get really far forward but inverted wingbacks playing like strikers is wild to me the next clip is even more impressive so up in this top corner we have Ambrosi right-sided and look at the left-sided wingback Damian he's floated all the way over there this time and the link play between these two and the right side of midfielder Dumfries is something to behold as we play this on Ambrosi there to Dumfries back to Ambrosi Damian now 
centre forward. Ambrosi playing like a blooming inside forward. He plays a little ball into Damian who reverses it back to Ambrosi. I mean, oh my days, what a goal. It's incredible, right? It's incredible the movement these boys are getting. And the more I've seen it, the more I wanted to explore it. So what we've done with the formation, like we saw at the start, is we've given them a bit of support so they can just bomb by using an anchor man. So many anchor man's there, basically meaning he's going to sit and then inverted wing back one and two, bomb on. As I say, this is a work in progress. These two boys here do do a good defensive job, but if I want them pushing up a little bit further, believe it or not, defensive wingers actually start deeper but push on a little bit higher against opposition fullbacks so that may be an option as well but at the minute i'm just blown away by the movements that these two boys are doing in fact when i look at it and the amount of time that they spend up here in that sort of area i'm starting to think do i need these two in the number 10 slots it's been highly effective even against teams of a higher standard such as napoli in this instance here my wingbacks are di marco and Damian and you can already see the positions that they are taking up as we play this on with Correa on the ball there he goes wide Damian there just holding DeMarco gets it a little ball into Correa Damian makes a late run into the box a bit like a box to box midfielder this time picks up the pieces bangs it in the second goal is even more impressive we're a bit later on in the match now and I've brought on Alexander Kolarov to play as an inverted wing back I'm kind of breaking a couple of rules there as well because he's not two footed and some would say in an ideal world, you would need a two-footed inverted wing-back, but it can also work without that as well. And I can see, Colo, if I want you to concentrate on his forward movement here, as Diamond gets the ball here on a throw, plays it over to Hakan, to Dumfries, who looks up and look at Colo's run there. Attacking midfield desk. Final example coming up here, but I'm thinking you're getting the gist now that this is a role that we can really use, and the tricky bit is going to be organising the positions around it, because I really want to unleash them. Now, we're going to focus on Ambrosi in this occasion. There he is, number 33. So watch what he does in these next two goals. He's an average fullback, remember? Number 33, Ambrosi. This is all about movement and bombing on. So, ball comes to Skriniar, plays the Correa. Little ball to Ambrosi. He lays it into Zeko. Zeko waits for the underlap of Ambrosi and he pings it in. Lovely underlap run. Next one. There he sits on the edge of the box, just chilling. Correa gets it, pulls it back to Ambrosi. A little one-two with Dumfries. In he goes in the box. I mean, my life, this is good. How cool is this that this role is so capable of attacking movements like this? It's something I didn't even think about. Support, yes, but attacking, he just goes for it. Now, my mission to you, and probably to myself, is to get a formation to build around this. And we're going to try and build a formation based around those inverted wingbacks. Because it can obviously do the job. The top of the average ratings list, the scoring goals, they're creating them. Now, let's make them absolutely ideal with the best formation we can around them i'm off to do that now if you ever got it let me know nice.